Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang itindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Estimate the product of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers. Objective. After going through this lesson, the students are expected to estimate the product of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers with reasonable results. Before we start our lesson, let's have a quick review on rounding off numbers. Round off the following numbers to the nearest underlying digit. Number 1, we have 346. First step is to determine the place value of the underlying digit. We have 1s, 10s, 100s. 3 is in the 100s place. Therefore, we will round off 346 to the nearest hundreds. Step 2. Check the digit to the right of 3. If it is less than 5 or 0 to 4, round it down. If it is 5 and above, round it up. The digit 4 is less than 5. Therefore, the digit in the hundreds place will remain. Step 3. All the digits to the right of 3 will be replaced with 0. Therefore, 346 rounded off to the nearest hundreds is 300. Let's have another example. We have 28 and 2 is the underlying digit. Step 1. Determine the place value of the underlying digit. 1's, 10's, 2 is in the 10's place. Therefore, we will round off 28 to the nearest 10's. Step 2. Check the digit to the right of 2. If it is less than 5 or 0 to 4, round it down. If it is 5 and above, round it up. The digit 8 is above 5. Add 1 to the digit in the tens place. So 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. And step 3, all the digit to the right of 2 will be replaced with 0. Therefore, 28 rounded off to the nearest tens is 30. Take note of this important concept because it will help you to understand our lesson today. Now, look at this word problem and let's answer using estimation. Mrs. De Los Santos is selling a pot of Waling Waling Orchid at 349 pesos for fundraising. If 65 pots were sold about how much money did she get the word about is the word clue in the problem this means that you are not going to find the exact product or answer you will just get the estimated product let us try to estimate the product of 349 and 65 Step 1. Round off both numbers or factors to the highest place value. Let's round off 349. We will round it off to the highest place value which is hundreds. And that is 3. Take a look on the digit to the right of 3. Since it is below 5, the digit 3 will remain and the digit to its right will become 0. Therefore, 349 
will be rounded down to 300. Then, let's round off 65. 6 is the digit in the highest place value. Then, the digit to its right is exactly 5. Therefore, we will add 1 to 6 so it will become 7 and replace 5 to 0. Therefore, 65 is rounded up to 70. We will now proceed to step 2. Multiply the rounded factors. We can make it easier by simply copy all the zeros from the factors and multiply 7 and 3 which is 21. So the estimated product of 349 and 65, 65 is 21,000. So Mrs. De Los Santos estimated earnings is 21,000. Let's have another example. Estimate the product of 456 and 14. Step 1. Round off both numbers or factors to the highest place value. Let's round off 456. We will round it off to the highest place value which is hundreds. And the digits that is in the hundreds place is 4. Take a look on the digit to the right of 4. Since it is exactly 5, we will add 1 to 4 which will make it 5 and the digit to its right will become 0. Therefore, 456 will be rounded up to 500. Then, let's now round off 14. 1 is the digit in the highest place value. Then, the digit to its right is below 5. Therefore, the digit will keep the same and the digit to its right will become 0. 14 is rounded down to 10. We will now proceed to step 2. Multiply the rounded factors. We can make it easier by simply copy all the zeros from the factors and multiply 1 times 5, which is 5. Therefore, the estimated product of 456 and 14 is 5,000. Remember, estimation is one of the useful math concepts. It can help with all the kinds of real-life problems like planning your day to budgeting your money. To estimate the products, round the factors to the greatest or highest value, then multiply the rounded factors. Now, get a pen and paper to check your mastery in 5 minutes, find the estimated product of the given factors. Ready? Your timer starts now.
Time's up! Let's check your work! Number 1. The estimated product of 636 times 37 is 24,000. Number 2. The estimated product of 165 times 117 is 2,000. Number 3. The estimated product of 89 times 73 is 6,300. Number 4, the estimated product of 486 times 84 is 40,000. And number 5, the estimated product of 174 times 23 is 4,000. Did you get a perfect score? Excellent! That's all for you today. If you learn from this channel, don't forget to enroll by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang lahat ng mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Have a great day! Bye-bye!